this quarter is going to be more about the management's outlook and commentary than performance because we all know that it's going to be a seasonally uh, well subdued quarter because of furloughs. Uh, that said, uh, we're also watching out for well meaningful pick up in recovery. That's something that we haven't seen yet. Well, we'll have to wait and watch whether or not Q3 can indicate that. Uh, in terms of the top for IT companies, that is the IT companies which are a part of the Nifty Pack, we can expect about 1-2% to growth in terms of revenues, margins, expect to remain largely in line with what we've seen in the previous few quarters. But a lot of analysts are expecting very little cross-currency impact when it comes to earnings for the third quarter. In terms of guidances, again, do remember that uh, we did have Accenture numbers uh, announced in, in December and where they did suggest that there is gradual recovery in the US markets and the BFSI vertical. But that said, we're not expecting any change in guidance for the likes of Infosys or HCL Technologies for that matter. And we're also expecting a subdued guidance for the fourth quarter when it comes to Wipro. But uh, you know, moving in, uh, what are the other factors that we are watching out for? Well, uh, we are Everyone's going to be watching out for Salil Parikh and what he has in store for Infosys. He's just been on the job for a couple of weeks, so I'm sure he won't have too much to say. But that said, uh, you know, we'll also be keeping an eye on TCS. And the, the management has spoken about identifying new business models, experimenting with clients. So you know, if we could have any updates there, of course, re uh, recovery in infrastructure management for HCL technologies, and uh, you know, several other factors like changing client trends. But that's something which we have been uh, you know talking about through the quarters. So these are some of the factors that we'll be watching out for. But on the whole, we're not expecting a great quarter from the Indian IT uh, sector. Thanks for that, Agam. Let's ask that question. Uh, I mean, I would have really asked uh, uh, Ravi Menon about this. Agam, if you can very quickly tell us what, will, what we expect from TCS. Well, a quiet quarter. As you can see, about 1.7% growth when it comes to rupee revenues, dollar revenues seen projected about 1% growth out there. EBIT, again, moving up as much as 2.5% when it comes to profitability and margins. Margins, are, of course, expected to remain largely flat at around 25.3%, and profits expected to grow 1.4% sequentially. Again, as I've mentioned, it's the furloughs which is going to bear down on the quarter, and it's a seasonally weak quarter. And uh, as I also suggested, that we will be watching out for TCS and what they have to make of the their adaptation to the changing uh, you know, trends and the client requirements. So these are some of the factors that I'll be watching out for when it comes to TCS. Thanks for that, Agam. Let's get in Ravi Menon um, with his thoughts. Ravi, thanks so much for waiting by patiently uh, with us this morning. Appreciate your time. Uh, what do you anticipate uh, the space to do? Because there has been uh, a remarkable uptick ahead of the numbers uh, in the IT stock, something that we haven't seen at least for the last four or five quarters, if not more. Well, I think that it is uh, you know, a realization that we have been not in a structural downturn for the sector, but you know, what's more cyclical. Uh, so this quarter's commentary is expected to confirm that. Uh, so if it's indeed cyclical, then you know, we can look at a re-rating for the whole sector, I think, um, especially because uh, you know, most of the uh, other parts of uh, the market, uh, there is not too much value. Uh, you know, people are thinking that valuation is already high. So we could see a sectoral re-rating for IT. Um. What would lead this? Because, I mean, I mean let's, let's take, for example, TCS, the top gainers yesterday. If I look at what the Bloomberg estimates are, they aren't speaking too well. If indeed the company manages to beat this 1.5%, 2%, uh, would that be the starting step of what you're saying could be the re-rating for the space? Well, I think it's more about commentary, and uh, my estimate for TCS is 1.8% in dollar terms uh, and 2.5% uh, QOQ growth in rupee terms, uh, because the rupee realization is actually going to be about 70 basis point higher QOQ uh, based on the daily average rate, uh, you know, which is how uh, companies would realize that. Uh, rather than, you know, when you look at the endpoints, it is also advantageous because the hedges would be evaluated based on, you know, the market to market will happen on the endpoint. So the endpoint this quarter is uh, also advantageous because it's lower than the endpoint of last quarter. Uh, so I think that you know margins should be helped and profitability, uh, the PAT level also it, it should be helped by uh, this currency movement. Uh, so we're looking at about uh, 60 basis point QOQ improvement in margins for TCS, uh, partly helped by the rupee and partly also helped by realization improvement. Uh, I expect uh, some part of the diligenter contract, uh, you know, that they won with Scottish widows that should come in this quarter, 
uh, that should uplift uh, the realization slightly. Mm. Ravi, can we, can we get the unimaginable, which is a really large positive surprise from Wipro? Yesterday, a couple of notes, a couple of your peers mentioned a 3% odd growth from Wipro po uh, as a possibility. What are you factoring in? Uh, Wipro, I mean, we think that uh, you know it will be closer to uh, just about 1%. Uh, we are not really looking at uh, very strong growth this quarter, but we are hoping for uh, uh, better commentary for uh, and guidance for the next quarter, uh, where we hope that you know the midpoint of the guidance should be uh, two percent or slightly higher than that. Okay, that Sir, would really put them in uh, to, you know you know peer average growth as they have been targeting. Okay, I will watch out for all of these numbers, Ravi. But if I were to end this conversation by asking you one final question, which amongst your coverage universe stocks? Do you expect uh, to show the most promising either delivery for the quarter or uh, the commentary for the quarter based on your assessment, of course? Uh, so I think Wipro and HCL Tech uh, and TCS, uh, you know, probably in a, not, not in that order. Uh, I would say uh, TCS would probably give you the most positive commentary because we are looking at uh, the banking sector where they have a very high exposure to uh, we expecting a slight uh, you know, uh, budget uptick over there uh, year on year uh, because last year a lot of the budgets were earmarked for specific programs targeted at compliance uh, requirements that would come or you know that would change and that never happened because there was no regulatory action in the US uh, so this year effectively we expect uh, you know that to be a budget increase uh, year on year uh, and uh, in the UK as well we are expecting an uptick and TCS is especially strong in the UK uh, so we expect that overall commentary should be strong from them. And we also heard uh, of them going after other deals for diligent uh, beyond Scottish Widows. So if there is one more announcement there, these are really big deals. So I think that would really drive uh, them higher. Uh, then HCL Tech, we are looking at any revival in the IMS again, which would be you know talking about uh, IMS uh, decline not being structural, but rather a cyclical uh, in, you know, thing in nature. Then that would also help HCL Tech. I think that would be really key for rewriting HCL Tech. Uh, and Wipro, if they give good guidance for the next quarter, again, you know, that will uh, be a strong positive. Uh, people have, uh, have actually not been expecting them to perform in line with peers for quite some time now. We think uh, that has been due to uh, specific headwinds uh, in the energy sector and then later on with uh, the U.S. healthcare. Uh, now we think they are behind both of these, uh, so you know they, we should actually start seeing them uh, perform in line with the peer group. Great. Ravi, appreciate you taking the time out and appreciate you being patient with us today. Thanks much for joining in.